Hey guys, it's Christy, otherwise known as Carmen Lee, and I am back at you with another video, this time answering some questions that I've gotten, which was super exciting. I love getting questions. I try to have the answers, at least as they pertain to me, so feel free um, after this video or after any of my other videos to shoot me some questions you might have about self-publishing, traditional publishing, finding an agent, uh, finding a publisher, all of that. So the question that I got, um, or the questions rather that I got, which are really great, and if you obviously read the title of this video, it has to do with pen names. So as I put in every single video, um, Christy is my nickname, it is a derivative of my actual name, um, but I write under a pen name, which is Carmen Lee, and I've written under that pen name since 2014, when I started um, kind of my author journey. Um, and so one of the questions is how I came up with my pen name. Um, <laughs> I actually don't remember how I came up with my pen name. I, I vaguely know that I wanted to keep it somewhat similar to my actual name. Um, so, you know, if my name is Jonathan, then I'm using John, or if it's William, I'm using Will kind of thing. Um, but I don't, I don't remember exactly why I chose this particular name. Now, I did do some research when I was thinking of names just to make sure that my name wasn't too similar to someone who was already writing specifically in my genre, which is romance. Um, just because I didn't want, number one, people to think I was piggybacking off of someone else's um, fame. And I wanted to make sure that if someone's looking my name up, um, you know, for the most part, I'm one of the only ones that pop up. You know, if you do a Google search of Carmen Lee, I wanted to make sure that like my name and website and stuff was like one of the first five things that like would come up with. Um, so yeah, my pen name is actually kind of a mystery to even me at this point. Um, and yeah, it's been almost 10 years with this pen name, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, the other question was why I use a pen name. So there are a lot of different reasons why an author might use a pen name instead of their legal name. Um, and so I can only really answer this question as it pertains to me. The reason I use a pen name and continue using it now, even with, you know, kind of, transitioning from just self-pubbing to now also trad pubbing um, was simply just to keep my, um, I guess, my day job life separate from my author life. Um, at the time, I was also involved with doing research and stuff like that um, under my legal name. And so I wanted whenever someone looked up my legal name for that research to pop up and not my author stuff. Um, and vice versa. Whenever someone researched my author name, I wanted my author stuff to pop up and not my research stuff. So there was no, um, you know, super duper need for me to have to keep it that separate. Um, yeah, I, and it's not really, yeah, there was no super duper need for me to have to keep it secret. It, it, that was literally it. I, um, just wanted to keep the two halves of my whole, <laughs> um, separate. So yeah, then the other question was why did I reveal my pen name? Simplest answer is, is because I can, and for me it's not really that big a deal if people know my pen name or know my legal name. So I know some authors use a pen name, particularly some authors who write queer fiction, um, like I do. So the two, I hate to call them genres because they're really not. I, I guess the two types of pairings or categories of pairings that I typically write under are sapphic, which is women loving women, and, and heterosexual. So, you know, men loving women. <laughs> um, and so for a lot of queer authors and, and even other authors who aren't queer but maybe write queer fiction, they have to keep it a secret, whether for professional reasons, for personal reasons, you know, maybe they aren't living in a situation where it's safe for people to know that they write queer fiction. Um, and so, you know, I have the immense privilege where everybody already kind of knows my pen name 
who's in my personal life, including my parents. I <laughs> think my mom actually follows me on social media with my personal account and my author account. So, you know, I kind of had that, <laughs> that talk with her like, all right, you follow me. So don't say anything when I post such and such. Um, and she hasn't. Um, my dad knows my pen name. My stepmom has read, I think, every book that I've put out. <laughs> it's it's always fun when she comes to visit because then she looks on my bookshelf to see which books of mine have come out that she hasn't read. And then she just sneaks herself a copy and then reads them. But yeah, so you know, my friends know my pen name. My friends have my books. For me, it's not a secret that I have to keep. So some authors keep things separate because they have to in order to be safe. Some authors are similar to me in that they just want to keep, you know, things separate. Um, other authors, you know, they have multiple pen names because they write across genres. But yeah, it's it kind of just depends on the author. It kind of depends on their reasons for it. And some are more secretive about their pen names than others. A lot of my author friends know my legal name. A few of them know my like full legal name. Like they've stayed at my house, they've met my child, they've met my mom. <laughs> and so like, there's really no secrets there. Um, and then other authors, you know, know my first name, a few through my um, side business where I make bookish items, know my legal name because I do business for that under my legal name. Um, but yeah, so I don't really keep it that much of a secret. And actually moving into another question <laughs> where someone said, um, will I ever stop using a pen name? Um, potentially. So like I said, some authors use different pen names because they write across genres. Similarly, I have plans to eventually publish young adult novels. And when I do that, I'm actually planning on publishing those under my legal name. Um, and so that for me will be kind of a way to keep the two genres that I want to publish under separate. So I'll continue publishing adult romance under Carmen Lee, and then young adult novels under my legal name. I do plan on not stopping, but you know, kind of having that little genre separation, but I am so used to using Carmen Lee. I think I've built kind of a brand under using Carmen Lee. And so I don't plan on like getting rid of that pen name anytime soon. I also similarly don't plan on using a new pen name <laughs> anytime soon. Yeah, some authors have like two or three different pen names, especially if they do write across multiple genres like that. But for me, that's just it's more trouble than it's worth. And so I think even even if I decide, I don't know, to write adult science fiction or adult fantasy or urban fantasy, I will continue using Carmen Lee just because I've been using that for so long and I really don't want to try to use new social media. I'm so bad with social media that I just I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't try to use more at this point. I just, it's just not going to work. That is kind of the quick and dirty about pen names as it pertains to me. Um, like I said, if you ask, you know, other authors the same thing, you might get different answers about why they use a pen name, how many pen names they have, how they came up with their pen name, if they plan on no longer using a pen name. For people who are looking to get published, become authors, whether it's self-pub or trad pub or a hybrid of both. It's really just kind of depends on you if you want to use a pen name or not. I haven't had any issues so far with like doing signings. I also haven't had any book signings in person yet. So that really hasn't become a problem. I will say it was very interesting to try to figure out what my signature was going to look like with my pen name just because I think even now everything is so digital that I usually don't hand sign documents. But yeah, it took a little while to figure out what, what my pen name signature was going to look like. So that was probably the most difficult thing about creating a pen name and using it. If you decide to use a pen name, that's totally up to you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with using a pen name. There's also absolutely nothing wrong with making sure that nobody knows your legal name and only uses your pen name. Of course, when it comes to like legal things, like when I signed a contract with my agent and when I signed a contract with my publisher, I had to use my legal name because of course, you know, it's under my, <laughs> it's under my, my legal status and it uses my, you know, my social security number and all of that. But also I will say that in my um, publishing contract specifically, it did state legal name writing as Carmen Lee. And so that is one thing like, they, they know that I'm using a pen name. So they use my pen name. But of course, when I get paid, I get paid under my 
legal name. If there are any other questions you have about publishing, about using pen names, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I really appreciate when you guys ask me questions. Really appreciate you guys, you know, rocking with me on this author journey. And check back later. I will have more videos coming up. I have a couple of videos that I'm editing um, for writing vlogs that I've done. Um, a few kind of announcing <laughs> some things that I'll be working on as you, you know, kind of follow me in that journey of finishing manuscripts because, oh, child, trying to finish some of these manuscripts sometimes, it's rough. Mother,